Hey guys, it's Uto from suzachirecipes.com and today I'm going to show you how to make my favourite homemade dashi soup stock recipe. This is a type of awase dashi, which means it uses a mixture of ingredients. The most common type of awase dashi used in Japanese cooking is made with two ingredients, dried kelp called kombu and bonito flakes we call katsubushi. However, in this recipe I'll be adding a third ingredient, dried sardines called niboshi or iriko. These three ingredients together make a rich broth which is slightly stronger than a basic dashi. It's perfect for dishes like udon soup or miso soup. This recipe makes about 1 litre of dashi and takes roughly 45 minutes. Let's get started. The first step is to take the heads of the niboshi. If you leave them on, they will make your dashi bitter so we always take these off. I have about 10 grams here. Niboshi are baby sardines that have been boiled in salt water and dried. They are a popular dashi ingredient because they have a bold fishy flavour that adds a lot of umami to Japanese dishes. They can also be eaten as a snack. Once that's done, take your pot and place 10 grams of kombu and niboshi inside. Add just over 1 litre of cold water to the pot. Some of the water will be lost when we strain the dashi, so I recommend adding about 100 millilitres extra. We're going to let this soak for 30 minutes. If you want a more concentrated broth, you can leave it overnight, but 30 minutes is still enough time to make a delicious dashi. After 30 minutes, you'll see that the kombu has become soft and tripled in size. We can now move this over to the stove. Add 15 grams of katsuobushi bonito flakes and turn the heat on to medium low. We want to heat the dashi up slowly in order to gently release the flavours of the ingredients. It's also important not to let the dashi boil at this point. By keeping the heat on a medium low, it's easier to keep it from suddenly boiling over. This should take about 10 minutes. Keep an eye out for small bubbles forming around the edges and if you start to hear bubbling you can turn off the heat and remove it from the stove. Finally we strain the dashi. Take a heat proof bowl, add a sieve and line it with kitchen paper. I add kitchen paper because katsuobushi is very fine and leaves small bits in the broth. If you use kitchen paper, it's gonna catch all the tiny bits and make the dashi beautifully clear. Pour the dashi into the sieve and then tilt it from side to side to help it drip through. And that's it. Look how clear it is. It should be a light golden colour. You can use this dashi to make miso soup, noodle soups and hot pot dishes. Thanks so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and if you want to learn more about Japanese cooking be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, have a great day.